Jan used to show me her work um, before it went to the publisher. And a few months before she died, she showed me the two thirds to three quarters that had already been written. Uh, I read it and was very excited. Uh, it had a completely compelling story. I was engrossed by the characters uh, and desperate to know how it all ended. Sean used to routinely talk to me about her ideas for books. And one of the things that she spoke to me about, oh, I'd say a good two or three years before she died, was that there had been this horrible murder in Holloway, which her grandparents used to talk about when she was a child. She was devoted to her grandparents. They actually played a big role in bringing Sean up. And she thought that there might be a way of taking the very basic story that she'd heard about as a child and developing that into a novel, and that's what she did. I mean, Sean was an extraordinarily courageous person, and um, she was diagnosed with lung cancer in the summer of 2007, but she never allowed the cancer to define who she was. Uh, we had very happy years after she was diagnosed, even though she was actually chronically ill and acutely ill periodically um, a lot of the time in that period, but she never let it get her down. And, you know, there were many months at a time when we led a very normal life and she was not one of those people who agonized about the future. She just got on with her work and she wrote two absolutely amazingly brilliant novels in this time, McNaughton and A Commonplace Killing. I think it's an extraordinary achievement um, to, you know, create anything substantial when you, when, when, when for most people there'd be this overwhelming anxiety, but she refused. She always hoped for the best. Now, my own view is as the proud husband, that actually it is an absolutely magnificent achievement to have written these two great books in those circumstances. She would have said, I'm pretty sure, all that matters is whether the, the books are good or bad. She would have said, don't think about how I was, just are the books any good? So she would not have allowed um, herself a sort of self-indulgent, oh, I'm really proud of myself for having done it in these circumstances. But there's another point here. And the other point is, in A Commonplace Killing, um, she writes about the central character facing death. Um, she also writes, I think very movingly, about a particularly humane detective and his reflections on this imminent death. And she was writing all of this at a time uh, when she knew because the, the end of the book is, was written after the doctors told her that they couldn't help her anymore. So she wrote this after, in a sense, the death sentence had been pronounced on herself. Of course, I don't know um, how much of what happened in her own life impinged on how she wrote those final chapters. All I can say is I just think they are astonishingly brilliantly written and very moving.